Good afternoon and welcome to St. Columba's Hymn Sing. We're so glad that you've joined us. If you're with us live this afternoon, there's a chat that you can participate in so you can make some requests for the songs that you'd like to hear. Uh, we won't be able to get them in this week, but we'll definitely try to include them in the next one that we do. All the hymns we're going to sing today are found in the hymnal 1982. Some of you might have those at home. Uh, but if not, we're going to put the words up for the hymns so that it'll be easy for you to sing along. Right now we have to stay at home and we don't get to experience and enjoy singing together. And as we even heard that that act of singing together is not something we're going to be able to do for some time. But even though you're by yourself, you do get uh, to enjoy singing as loudly as you want, as messily or as wonderfully as you want. So we do hope that you'll sing along with us as we work today. The first hymn we're gonna look at together is uh, in the hymnal number 488. This is one of my favorites, Be Thou My Vision. This one has a text that's an example of a Lorica prayer which is a prayer for uh, protection. The Latin word lorica originally meant uh, shield or breastplate, and those two ideas come together uh, when knights would get ready for battle and they'd have uh, printed on their armor or on their shield those words of the prayer and blessing what they're doing, be thou my vision, as they're putting on the different pieces of their armor. And so when it comes together with this Irish hymn tune, Slain, it's a wonderful song. So this is Be Thou My Vision. that we're going to sing together is hands down one of the favorites. It's I Sing a Song of the Saints of God. In the hymnal it's number 293. We only really do this one once a year on All Saints Day, but it has just a place in people's hearts. The author of the text, Lesbia Scott, uh, she had written this uh, for her children and it was included in the hymnal uh, 1940 in the songs for children because her children would say make a song for a picnic make a song for a rainy day and she would do that and so she did this one uh, I sing a song of the saints of God to help them realize that uh, the saints are not these people that uh, are, are out there distant from us, but they're people that we might meet in everyday life. And in her hymn text, she's got one uh, was a doctor, and that was Luke. Uh, one was a queen, Margaret of Scotland. The shepherdess on the green is Joan of Arc. And one was a priest, John Dunn. So she's referring to real people, real saints of God in this. When the hymnal committee for 1982 got together, this was one that uh, was 
decided that maybe it shouldn't be included because there's some it feels too culture specific with in shops or at tea but i for one i'm glad they went ahead and included it so join me sing with me please i sing a song of the saints of god i sing St. John's Norwood uh, there when we get to the part of fierce wild beast I would for those two seconds go nuts on the organ and then get back to the hymn so that was always something everyone looked forward to every year the fierce wild beast our next hymn now thank we all our God is found at number 397 this is one where it, the author Martin Rinkhart uh, managed in the midst of just horrific conditions to still find ways to praise God and be thankful for all the blessings that are in that were in his life and are in our lives today. Uh, Rinkhart during his time as a Lutheran pastor uh, hit the city where he worked was involved in a 30 years war and then there was a plague that killed about 6,000 people while other pastors fled, Rinkhart stayed and ended up uh, having to bury about 4,000 people, including his own wife. But even in the midst of that tragedy, he was able to find words of praise. So this is now Thank We All Our God. Yes. 
as I said earlier, if you're with us live today, do chat with us, tell us which ones you like, tell us your favorites so that we can make sure we include them next time. This week, we're just doing ones that are in the hymnal 1982, but another time when we sing together, I'd love to explore with you some of the hymns that are in Wonder, Love, and Praise, or in uh, our Leave Us, Lift Every Voice and Sing. And even beyond those two hymnals, there's some wonderful hymns, and I look forward to one week uh, unpacking some hymns with you where we take texts that we already know but we put them with different tunes or we take tunes that we already know and put different texts with them so it's a wonderful way to be able to enter into new hymns right from the start this next one we're going to look at and sing together is uh, hymn 686 this is come thou fount of every blessing so this uh, was written as a hymn poem for the end of a service of, of Pentecost. So that's coming up for us in a few weeks. And then it's put together with this uh, early American hymn tune, Nettleton. And this is one that's found in hymnals across different denominations. So let's sing together, Come Thou Fount of Every Blessing. stay at home right now we're still in the midst of this beautiful springtime and with that in mind I felt like we couldn't get away without singing this next hymn all things bright and beautiful it's found in the hymnal at 405 the author of the text Cecile Francis Alexander uh, uses these wonderful images very colorful to kind of capture a child's imagination about nature and then combines that with teaching in simple language. So here she's got all these images of, of nature and the things that God made. And this is really for her to illustrate that uh, second part in the Apostles' Creed, the maker of heaven and earth. So this is all things bright and beautiful.
in St. Columbus Church, I felt like we couldn't get away without singing the St. Columba hymn, hymn 645 in the hymnal, The King of Love, My Shepherd Is. In our hymnal, we've got three different texts that use that 23rd Psalm. We've got The King of Love, My Shepherd Is, we've got My Shepherd Will Supply My Need, and we've got the, the third one, which I'm gonna put my glasses on to make sure I get it. The third one is the Lord's my shepherd, I'll not want. And each one is a paraphrase of that Psalm 23 that so many of us have found uh, to be a comfort in those times when we just don't have words of our own to pray with, but we can still remember those words from the, the 23rd Psalm. But before we sing, I'd just like to mention, again, if you're with us live today, we're so glad that you've tried this new platform with us. And uh, do chat with us there and tell us what you've liked about today and tell me which hymns you'd like to sing the next time we get together to do this. If you're not live and watching this uh, on YouTube, then you can go ahead and email me at columba.org uh, to tell me those same things. When we sing this hymn, because there's six verses, we're not gonna do all six today, but we'll do uh, verse one and two and five and six. Again, they're either in your hymnal if you've got one, I bet many of you actually have this memorized, or the words are gonna be up on the screen so it makes it easy to participate. So go ahead and sing out, the King of Love My Shepherd is.